Hello, this is Nia Muda, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start the tutorial for today, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my subscribers. Number one, Olisa Messi, thank you, and then to Oko Opa. Now, my videos, I'm going to give a shout out to my subscribers too, randomly. Okay, so let's go to what we have for today. Today I'm going to teach you how you can actually um, fade the background of pictures. Okay, fade background into pictures. All right. So let me just quickly get this quote done. So most people find it difficult, and this video is going to solve that solution. How to paint your pictures into the background. All right. So. Let's reduce this. Let's reduce this. Um, it's just something we're gonna do. So let me quickly reduce it now. Okay, reduce. All right, and we are going to change the font. Let's change the font. Let's use um, a vertical. Okay. All right, that is that. Okay, so we're going to get the image that we're going to be using for this. Um, tutorial let's get the image that we're going to be using all right so this is the image we're going to use right here okay so we're going to faint because look, look at the image the edge is chap but we now want to faint the edges of those image inside the background go to shape get a square perfect square all right now go to um, color all right first of all make sure that the square is at the relative position okay so you see what i did make sure it's at the middle then go to color enable color go to gradient click on the plus button at that point there click on okay click on black let the color be black on this other end let it be fully white okay now once we have done this you see that it's, the grid is going to be white and black now go to copy it right and then go to relative position and put it at the middle now we have two shapes with the same gradient now go to your layer and then let's um, we're going to merge them together now so click on that icon there select the two shapes and merge them together now having merged them together the next thing we're going to do now is you can see now they are merged together they are together now now let's go to erase color and then increase the tolerance to about let's say 39 or so 36 okay and then it's okay let's leave it at 36 stretch sheets to cover the image then we'll go to color and enable color for it and we'll choose the color that we want to you can see that it's, it has fainted inside the image now so that you're not seeing the edge of the image again so i want to pick that color here okay all right so you see it the background the image is blending now with the background so that's a trick in pixel lab actually to make your image to blend with your background so you can actually choose any background you can choose black it depends on what you are working with so that is it you can choose orange or anything let's get this um, test out okay bring it to the front all right and let's position it very well we are almost there all right and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel I like you to subscribe so that you get notification whenever I post my tutorials okay so let's justify it to the left All right okay mm, I want us to get a I want us to get get um, an, uh, a logo anyway let's get a logo that just defeats this stuff here yeah. Let me darken it okay so you can work with it you see the image is now blending inside the background so this is a trick actually so let's get a logo to use so kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and 
if you want me to pick your name and feature in my next video make sure that you subscribe subscribe and comment make a comment and then you may feature okay let's get this one okay i'm looking at the black zoom and fist it's a foundation that really helps the poor less privileged children so let's because the the background the logo is black i couldn't get the png now but let's change this background color to black so that it fits exactly okay so this is it so this is actually how you can blend the your image with the background okay it's quite easy and I want to know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you and if there's anything I didn't get you can let me know so kindly subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much we are almost there Alright, I think we're okay with this. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and remember, go to the co my community tab. There is a pool there that I want you to vote for the next video that's coming on Wednesday next week. Thank you so much. Um, we'll see you next time.